And NFL football is just a month away, and I'm super excited. So I want to give you guys my season-long player props. We're doing passing. We're doing receiving. We're doing rushing. I might even do win totals if you guys want to see that. Make sure to comment down below if you do like the video and such. And man, preseason is starting. I love the NFL. This is the greatest time of the year. So like I said, we got passing, receiving, and rushing uh, player props, season-long player props. I'm going to have three overs and one under. I'm going to give you a little bit of an idea why I do like these props, why I don't like these props. So let's get right into it. First with the passing props. As you can see here, I got Anthony Richardson over 3,125.5 yards. Now, obviously, if he stays healthy, healthy for all 17 games, which probably won't happen, but if he does, it's an average of 183 yards per game. Obviously, Anthony Richardson got hurt four games into last season, but he did get to sit behind um, Gardner Minshew, who is, is a good vet, and he could learn from him the whole season, basically. So this going in is virtually his rookie season. But he has a year of experience of sitting behind a vet and a really good coach uh, in Shane Steichen. And if you remember, Shane Steichen was the coach uh, a couple years ago, or the offense coordinator, sorry, of the Eagles a couple years ago when they went to the Super Bowl. And Jalen Hurts was, running, was in the running for MVP. And a lot of people's criticism of Jalen Hurts, similar to, similarly to Anthony Richardson, is that he can only run. He's not a very great passing quarterback, but Jalen Hurts shut out all those haters. And I think Anthony Richardson has a very, very similar possibility or a similar outcome that can come from that. Another thing I want to say about Anthony Richardson, he was running a lot. He got injured, I think, two or three times in just four games. He had to exit the game two times, I believe, and it was from him running the football. I do think there's going to be a concerted effort to try and keep Anthony Richardson in the pocket a little bit more. Now, obviously, Joe Burrow went through this. He got injured uh, his first year when he was running a lot, taking a lot of big hits. Same with Anthony Richardson just four games in. I think Shane Steichen is a very good head coach, and he will be able to scheme things up to make it very, very easy for Anthony Richardson. And the Colts also have a pretty good receiving core. They got Michael Pittman Jr., who you'll see later in this video. They got Alec Pierce. They just drafted Josh Downs, I believe, last year, and they got J.D. JD Mitchell, I believe is his name, um, in the draft this season. So that's why I love Anthony Richardson. Next on the list, I got Baker Mayfield for 3,500 yards. So Baker Mayfield's line is 3,500 yards, and he blew past this. He, he was over 4,000 this past mm -hmm. season. And he got a brand new contract with the Buccaneers. Mike Evans is back. Chris Godwin will be back. And... I don't see how he doesn't go over this number unless he gets hurt. He's not trying to prove himself for a new contract, but Baker Mayfield has always had chips on his shoulder. People always doubted him. So I don't think that would be a big I don't I don't think that would be a factor of a, a letdown season that he has a contract this year. I think that he's going to blow past this number. He might end up with I don't know, 3800. Um so this is very very good line for me. One thing I do worry about is the Buccaneers lost their offense coordinator to, I believe, the Titans uh, because he's their new head coach. So that could be a little bit of a question mark if you don't want to bet this. I understand. Baker Mayfield, he still has a chip on his shoulder. People are still doubting this guy. He has two great wide receivers. He's going to be perfectly fine. And the third over I have is Bryce Young over 3,200 yards. This guy... Is, had a terrible rookie season. He had no help at all, virtually. Offensive line was Swiss cheese. Um, this is a huge buy, or big uh, buy low spot on the guy. They got Xavier Leggett, who I think twisted his knee in training camp, but he should be fine. They got Deontay Johnson from the Steelers, and they had um, Alan Thielen. They got Alan Thielen last year. They have a pretty decent wide receiver core, decent. Miles Sanders is a pretty decent running back who can catch the ball out of the backfield. Um, they got a new head coach who means business. Bryce Young, I'm telling you, this is a very, very good buy low spot. I'm not saying the Panthers are going to win a bunch of games, but Bryce Young is hes going to have a pretty good sophomore season. He went through a lot of learning. He got beat up all year his rookie season. He saw C.J. Stroud go off through C.J. Stroud through 4,000 yards. The greatest rookie season of a quarterback of all time. Bryce Young has a little chip on his shoulder. People saw him walking in training camp, looked like a little kid. He's going to come out and ball. 
And the under for the quarterback passing yard props is Jordan Love under 3,825 yards. Now, I am a little skeptical on Jordan Love. I know he passed for, I think, 4,000 yards this past season. Um, But to me, his first half of the season wasn't anything special. And I have a tough time putting money on a guy that played good for nine games. I don't know how you'll have that much confidence. This might be a contrarian pick, just going against the grain, maybe. Um, and uh, even if he he might have a great season, and 3,700 yards is a very, very good season for his, for a second-year starting quarterback. Um, I just think this number might be a little inflated because everybody loves the Packers this year. Jordan Love had a great, great second half of the season last season. I think their schedule is very, very difficult. They play a lot of good defenses. Jordan Love, like I said, I just have a tough time putting money on a quarterback that only performed to an elite level, like this says, almost 4,000 yards uh, for only half a season. Now, I'm not low on Jordan Love. I do think he's a good quarterback. But like I said, I believe this number is just a little too high. Now, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys leave down below what you guys think of these player props. And let me know what player props you guys are rocking. Make sure to subscribe, like, and everything.